Baldi, and it's uh, my favorite day of the week. I've had quite the animal day. It's Find a Friend Friday with the Humane Society of Utah. Leslie Pulsifer is here. Hi, Leslie. Hey, how's it going? Good. She's brought two friends for yes. us, and they're tickling the hell out of both of us. One's on mine, <laughs> one's on her just, like, <laughs> trying to sniff her headphones. What kind of critters did you bring us today? I brought one of my favorite animals, which is a rat. <laughs> <laughs> Two and rats. Yeah, you know, I know there's a lot of people who are kind of uncomfortable or scared of rats, but they are actually one of the best pets. I have had them my whole life. They're very smart. They're very loving, and, and they... They just, they're clean, and I don't know, they're just really great pets. So I had to bring two. These are two babies. Creed and Charcoal are their names. <laughs> and they're really, they're cute colorings. They're kind of a one solid brown, and one's a spotted kind of white and brown. And they're, you know, like I said, they're two, about two or three months, and they're just, they're so cute. They're really and, cute. You know, they're they're unlike other pets at our shelter where they're not going to be neutered. They we know. Right. We just we just encourage them to go together and not uh-huh. with other females because they will. Uh, right. Reproduce. They will. Repro- right. Yes. So um and tell us more about rats. They're low maintenance animals, right? So maybe good for kids if you're trying to t- yeah. teach kids about how to take care of an animal, Definitely. or just if you're an adult who wants a companion that's not going to be they a lot of work. Are. Yeah. They're they're pretty nocturnal too. So um during the day it's it's not a bad idea to have them at home because mm-hmm. if you're gone or something they're fine they're yeah. independent but when you have them out they love to hang out on your shoulder you do need to you know maintain their cage make sure it's clean and also interactive uh-huh. um, instead of just the you know 10 gallon glass aquarium we would recommend more of like a wire stacked cage that has some you know opportunities for them to climb or right. crawl through be playful and smart and yeah they're very curious but okay, cool. super loving well awesome pictures of these guys up on our Facebook Twitter and Instagram and it's a big part of time of the year for the Humane Society of Utah their telethon is coming up a yeah. week from Sunday right yes yeah, so November 29th from 2.30 to 5.30 on Fox 13 and we're really excited it's one of our biggest events of the year and uh, you can call in from 2.30 to 5.30 and make a donation if you'd like. Mm-hmm. Possibly talk to Lindsay. Yeah, I'll be in the phone bank. So yeah. come on, and we'll definitely be putting that info up on our, our pages, too. Cool, yeah. And and you can also actually go online and make a donation now in honor of the telethon if you won't be able to call in that, that day. But awesome. yep, it's Sunday, November 29th, 2.30 to 5.30. Awesome. Thank you so much, Leslie, yeah. from the Humane Society of Utah. The music continues next on Alt 101.9.